thanks for the opportunity. So we want to provide some recommendations, two of them tonight, um, for solid waste operations. We're looking to switch from our current disposal company to the Roanoke Valley Resource Authority. This is a uh, effort that's been about three years in the making total. Um, so that's one of the recommendations that we have, and I can give you more detail on that. Uh, in addition to that, and as a result of that, if that does get approved, we would also have to amend our transportation, our hauling contract, um, to adjust the locations for that too. And also we would need to terminate the contract with the current vendor if we do approve that uh, solid waste disposal agreement. Um, some of the savings we're looking at, and this is a pretty conservative number, is about $250,000 uh, direct savings. We expect that to be quite a bit more. And then some of the things that we're proposing on the fee schedule, which will come up in one of the next meetings, um, will be an additional savings from that too, or create additional revenue. Um, so our current contract, just to give you a little bit, I won't dive off too deep into the details with this, but our current contract is $29.15, $29.15 per ton plus 6.57% on top of that. And that's uh, based on CPI, which is a consumer price index. So that can go up or down each year. Switching to the Roanoke Valley Resource Authority, we were able to negotiate to $26.50 per ton and also put a cap at 3% annually, so it can't go above that number. So it gives you a more, stand, a more dedicated number that you know you can budget by. And we've had pretty substantial increases over the past four years, fuel and those kind of things resulting from that. The 3%, is it a static 3% It is yearly? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, that, so that was on the disposal side of it. On the transportation side, uh, we're currently paying $741.90 uh, for the location that it's going to now. And if we switch to the Roanoke Valley, based on the recommendation we're giving you, it would drop that to $425, $425. So it's a pretty significant cost savings there, too. Any questions? Was that 425 or 426 425 it looks like a six, six on the uh, paper. It's 425. Um, it's 300 a load. How many loads you move a day? We average about three per three day. day. Mm -hmm. About $1,000 a day. Yeah. Yep. He negotiated a contract with Ron. Does this not have to go out to bid? It does. So public bodies do not have to follow the VPPA when they're contracting with other public bodies. Yeah, there's the rest of it. It also allowed us to negotiate. Uh, there's other terms that you can't uh, negotiate with when you go into an RFP, so there was more, I guess, value added to it by being able to negotiate with another public body. Um, hauling, they also use the same contractor we do, so we were able to use some of their truck so we didn't so the hauling company didn't have to purchase more capital so it allowed us to get a, a better rate that way too did you, did you try to renegotiate with waste management? renegotiate we have not why i mean they've been pretty faithful to us I guess. oh absolutely understood and so for the trend for what we have with them has increased over the last four years it's about a 40 percent increase um, but we didn't. We didn't reach out to them to to try to do that. So we didn't go out public to bid. We worked specifically, exclusively, exclusively with the Roanoke Valley Regional Resource Authority. Did you contact them, or they contact you? Actually, I contacted. It was the previous. It was Daniel Miles, I believe it was the previous before John Lanford was there, and we asked. We were actually inquiring about being part of the authority. And there was a pretty substantial uh, upfront capital or a, uh, a buy-in to that. Um, so that's went away since then. And we're not actually joining the authority, so I want to make sure I'm clear with that. I think we're in a better situation not to do that.
Other questions? Um, I've got a, two questions and, well, two things I was looking for in here and I didn't see. One is, is there any demerge cost on their assets if you budget it three loads per day or four loads per day if you only spend or only have one load go out? Do they charge fees on the equipment that's there? Is your question, are they, do they adjust the rate based on that? Right. If I've got three trailers on site and you only use two one day, do they bill you for the third? Or oh, no, they do not. Okay. They bill for what you haul. The other thing, I just have a question and usually see it in contracts as a force majeure. Force majeure. Is that re any issue? Okay. Getting out of the old contract, uh, what's the uh, liability or the, any? Well, from a legal perspective. Right. So we have in our, the, the language for termination is in there as long as you give a 30-day notice. We'll likely give 60 if this is approved, depending on the time frame of it. Um, but I'm, Jim may be able to speak a little bit to that too. But we have the language in there that supports the ability to be able to do it. So as far as putting the county in liability, there's none that I'm aware of from that perspective. No penalty for early withdrawal from the contract? Correct. Yep. That's all right. Yeah, there's two different conditions on it. We, there's This one wouldn't really apply uh, financially, but you can also, if the, the county was in, for lack of better words, dire straits financially, and you couldn't pay, you can get out of it. Um, but the other one is given 30-day notice for any reason. You don't have to have, it doesn't have to be any specific reason to do that. Other than the cost has waste management been negative and any of their on the contract been great to work with now there the the cost increase has been there's not there wasn't really a mechanism to be able to manage cost and one of the uh contract terms that was written into the rfp which we put into it required it to be a backup landfill and so they own two so that that a lot of people don't own to so that can reduce competition by that but as far as service wise and uh, with Allegheny County they've been really good okay, no doubt something about it. happens to the authority what's our backup well we could always go back out to that too go back out to to bid for that I don't I don't think that would be an issue with um, Who waste management authority? What, Roanoke City County? Who all's with their authority? Who, who all's in the authority? Uh, you have uh, Salem, Roanoke, Vinton, and um, Roanoke County. Our waste to be a very small piece of what goes on there, probably. You know, I don't know what their ultimate, what their tonnage is, but I would imagine it would be pretty significantly less than their total. Yeah, we're about fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand ton just Allegheny County per year. That's going to Smith Gap, is that correct? Uh, if it's approved, it would be, that's right. So Currently it goes to a million. How many years they have on that Smith site left? I think they just um, worked on that. I don't recall the number, but I can get I can get that to you. I can get you that information. About 100. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. Is that at the old rock quarry? It's out at the end of Bradshaw Road. Uh, I'm trying to think of the exit number off of the interstate there. It's just past the, um, just past the rest area that's on the northbound side. You get the truck stop or whatever you get off there and come back in. About six miles of, uh, out of Salem from that exit. Past the Dixie Caverns exit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's, a, that's a lot of savings. I mean, that's a high percentage of savings right there. It is. Do we need, are you asking for us to take action tonight? Um, can they take action tonight, Melissa? Okay, we are. I make a motion we approve it. 
as long as our county administrator and our attorney at the end of this deal are still comfortable with it, this is the right thing to do. As long as you don't find any boogers in this right here at the end. I think you ought to be comfortable before we vote. Hmm? They ought to be comfortable with it before we vote. I think they are now, but sometimes at the end of the deal you run into is a couple of jiggers right at the end of it. The only problem I got with them is well, it's been awful good to us. We're working contract in the middle of it, which is perfectly legal. And we're not going out for an RFP. We're not going out to be it. Understood. I mean, why, why are we not going out to be it? Well, it's definitely more financially beneficial not to. We And we can certainly still do that. You know, we still have that, if that's the board's... Uh, preference that could happen. I think the uh, financial, I mean, as far as cost-wise, it definitely won't be as beneficial there. That's an opinion, correct? That's not a fact. Based on, well, the research that I've done, I'd say a little bit more than an opinion because it's our current rates right now, you know, they've inflated up to 40% over the last four years. A lot of that had to do with COVID and uh, fuel hikes like everybody else dealt with. Um, and the ability to negotiate that rate down would be more difficult. So it wouldn't, I guess it's not, I couldn't say 100% that it wouldn't be, but more than likely. So we have a motion by Mr. Bennett. Is there a second for approval? Well, I've got a copy of the other contract. I was, I was going through it and uh, comparing notes. I didn't get all the way through it completing that. Previous contract? Right. Right. This, this is... It's not fun reading at all. It's, uh, <laughs> That's just a little stark. It's, it's not a damn novel. <laughs> so it's, uh, excuse my language there, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I could bore you with all the uh, additional benefits of it, but it's, the primary benefits obviously cost, but there's a lot of, um, if something happens to their landfill, we have a backup through their connection that the, the likelihood of that happening is not it had nothing's happened in the last 30 years but that is a benefit of it too yeah three percent caps are really that, that's yeah. really good i reckon the only thing that's got me is when you i still remember ken staying in the background and not having a backup it's kind of Kind of puts us in a. I mean, we could run out there right quick and grab another contract, but you wouldn't have no time to negotiate the price. <laughs> You'd have to take what you got. Uh, backup as far as if something fell through with. Right. Oh, okay. As, as far as a backup landfill, there's a clause that, that allows us to use that. There'll be a lot of people on it with us. <laughs> Don't know, growing up county city. Yeah. I mean, there's some pretty deep pockets that. No, they're not going to let that happen. They're too big. Griff, the, the RBRA has a backup with New Rivers. Uh, they have a... Uh, an okay, that's what I was wanting to hear. Thank you. Between the two of them, if something happens, and it has happened in the past, we've had, uh, from the RBRA standpoint, when they used to do it by rail, they had a bridge go out in North and Southern, so they couldn't take the trash to the uh, uh, landfill, so it all got trucked to New River. Uh, still charges customers the same price. Okay, I, I thought I remember reading something where they got shut down for a short period of time and had to go back sometime back. So now to build off of that a little bit, I thought you meant like if they said get out. So if that's not the case, a backup as far as landfill, they also have, that's their primary uh, backup is New River, but they have Bedford and I think it was three others that I talked to John about with that too. So I, that wouldn't be an issue uh, from that perspective. I wouldn't see that being a... I'm good conflict at all so again we have a motion by mr. Bennett to take action on this or to we'll 
We don't have to wait for policy. We just have to approve. Yeah, it's action, right? To approve it. Is there so a second? We're, we're approving just this contract and giving you the authority to follow up on the other two parts of it, which is freight. Yeah, so approving the RV RA agreement to go in contract to dispose there mm -hmm. and then to amend the contract with their hauling contractor and terminate the contract with waste management. So one vote would approve the whole concept. That's what you want. It's all no. three on the resolution. All right. I'll put a list of that. My fault. I didn't know. <coughs> Two, two points. So we still have a motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll be honest with you. The only reason I'm not seconding it I, is because I just don't know enough about it. <laughs> and I don't want to second something like that. And I think no matter how much you tell me, it, it, it that's just me. I understand. And so that's the only reason. I mean, from what I'm hearing, it, it sounds good. But I, I'm, I'm just very honest. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable but just only because I don't know enough and knowledge about it. That's not my little uh, part of my plan thing. So, uh, so I'm sorry, or I would. I hate to put Reed on the spot, but how do, what do you think, Reed? I think it's a very good deal. Good enough. <coughs> That's what we hire him for. Well, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and second it then. I'm going to go back and do what I said I wasn't going to do because I do think it's, it, it needs to go to the floor. So we have a second by Ms. Cox. Melissa? Mm -hmm. Mr. Bennett? Yes. Mrs. Cox? Yes. Mr. Dodd? Yes. Dr. Dolan? Rick Hughes. I own stock in waste management. I don't feel <coughs> I can vote. Mr. Nicely? <coughs> I guess it's already been passed. Mr. Griffin? Yes. Mr. Gar? Yes.